Good morning. <laughs> oh, poor. My God, it's getting cold again. They forecast snow. Hello, peeps. Fellow YouTubers. Oh, I haven't been putting up very many videos, have I? To apologise. I've um, I've been a bit busy with bikes actually. Um, oh, tree's still there. That's right. See it. <laughs> still there. As long as it didn't fall on my head, that's a good thing. Oh, it is cold. It's lovely in the sun. You get in the sunshine. Beautiful. Ellie, look. <laughs> well, she's gone down there now. She's enjoying it. And so she should, because it's lovely. <sighs> I miss it up here. Um, what was I talking to talk about? I can't remember now. Um, oh, I remember... Doing, oh yeah, thanks for all the comments on the last vid, guys. <laughs> um, which one was it? I can't remember now. I lose track. Um, oh yes, the um, the organic life form thing. The um, the little um, plug together thingy. <laughs> I um, I did the video, and then I did a bit more research, and I found out it was a fake. Um, but it was a bloody good one, wasn't it? Didn't you think that was good? I was quite impressed with that. It was um, it was all CGI. It was very cleverly done because it really did, it certainly convinced me. It sort of well. When I first watched it, I thought, "Oh, that's creepy," and the more I thought about it, and I thought, "That seems a bit weird." Do you know what I mean? I mean, they said that it had blood in it and stuff like that, and I thought, well, that wouldn't work, would it? Wouldn't the blood congeal or something? And I thought, hmm, it sort of, it, so, it, it seemed questionable. So, of course, then when I looked into it a bit further, then I realised that it was, um, <laughs> it was some young chap's project, to, a film they made. And um, I was quite impressed. I thought, fair play to him. I thought that was... Uh, <laughs> it was very convincing. It's it fooled me to start with. So I looked into it a bit further and I thought, hmm, yeah, it's quite clever. But yeah. Shows you can't believe everything that you see, you see. Um, as you know. <laughs> you can't believe it because it says so. <laughs> because somebody else tells you it is. I think you have to find out for yourself. Oh, I believe it's beautiful here, and that is for sure. The lovely woods this morning, look. Absolutely magic. Beautiful. They're oh, doing some tree work down the bottom. Part of the road was all fat combed off on the uh, entrance to up here. Uh, we got through. Oh, that sunshine is lovely. It's still cold though. It's still chilly. Oh. Yes, um, no gimbal I'm afraid. No, I didn't bring any of that. I've just got my little Lumix and a mini tripod today. So I hope it's okay. Not said I, uh, I haven't been into the filmmaking really, I'm afraid. I've, um, I've got a bit out of it the last week, few weeks. Um, I've been doing quite a few bikes actually the last uh, the last couple of weeks, which is um, which is good. Um, so uh, I've been doing that just to uh, try and catch up. Really, uh, done a couple of stealth, but not really gone anywhere to do anything because I've just been local again. So. I haven't really been able to make a video of those because there's not really much to talk about rather than them I'm on the stealth again Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit same old so um, I thought well I don't bother so. But if you do want me to do another same old video 
of the same things, let me know. <laughs> so, um, obviously I'm not forcing you into watch. I don't want to make a load of rubbish. Um, look, I usually don't. Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> usual rubbish. Yeah. So, um, yes, if you want me to continue to make videos like that, let me know, because I will do, if you want me to. Um, I know Scudo's got a, another personal vlog this week, because I haven't been anywhere to do anything. So, um, hence there only being a personal vlog. <laughs> which, uh, which is all I can do, I'm afraid, if I don't get to go away. If I can't go away, then I can't do anything, you see. So, um, obviously. Yeah. So what else has been going on? Um, yes, got a few jobs to do on Sammy. Um, a few jobs need doing on her. I've done, I did the prop shaft. Um, but my gearbox is not in a very good state. It's making a lot of noise now. <laughs> I can't afford another one. So um, it's a case of let it develop, which isn't a very good idea really, but... Um, if you haven't got the money, you've got to put up with it, so I'm having to put up with it for now. But, um, the bearings are going inside somewhere. Uh, the Astra's broken down as well, that still needs some new sensors. Because um, it's making the engine cut out. Because it's got some sensor faults, so um, that's something else needs doing. What else have we got? Um, I think the brake master cylinder may be leaking slightly on Sammy as well. Um, it was a bit of a telltale sign underneath. So uh, that'll be on the cards to be done soon as well. So uh, same as I did on the Scudo. I'm going to try and get myself a service kit for that one. So hopefully, the, well there probably will be a video on it. But it's the same video as I did last time really. Um, put the new seals in it. So that'll be that one. And uh, yeah, what else? What's the time now then? Bloody hell. No, I can't be right. Oh, seven minutes. Seven minutes. I thought it said 19 minutes. I thought, I'm sure it didn't waffle that long. I know it do go on a bit, but <laughs> not quite that long. Um, Remember in a few vids back, I was uh, I was chatting about frequencies, when I? You know, nature and Wi-Fi and all that sort of stuff. And um, how I feel better when I go away in my van and that. And uh, I used to think how much better I actually felt in the Scudo. And um, it got me thinking, and I thought, so why do I feel better? Well, and in nature, out here. Um... You know, you you feel like you're in you're in balance with nature because you're with nature, you know. But um, obviously, if I'm not here, I've got to go for the next best thing. So um, I used to think when I was in the Scudo, I used to feel like that. You know, I used to go on the stealth somewhere. Oh, what you got, El? But um, it got me thinking, and I was thinking of uh, the Faraday cage. I don't know if any of you. Uh, any of you guys know what a Faraday cage is, but it's um, it's basically insulates you from um, frequencies, or it, um, it filters out frequencies because it's made of metal. You see, you think oh, metal is um, conductive, but actually it's it is and it isn't. It does conduct it, but what happens is the waves hit will hit the cage. And they um, get dispersed, and they get um, made negative, basically. But um, yeah, I thought, oh, Faraday cage. And um, I thought to myself, with the Scudo, I had two very small windows. And uh, when I used to put the silver stuff in the windows, I couldn't get a phone signal. <laughs> I thought, ah, because I was in a Faraday box, basically. The Scudo van, because it was all insulated with um, the aluminium bubble wrap as well, in the windows, as well as in behind all the metal, 
I was in my own little Faraday box. So I used to feel very relaxed in there because I was insulated from all the frequencies. And I thought, do you know what, that's brilliant. And it got me, it got me thinking and um, I realised that it was very similar with the camper as well, you know, with Sammy. But um, it only seemed to work if I had uh, the screens in the front as well. The aluminium screens in the, fr in the front. So I was completely sealed. Um, if I didn't put any, obviously if I, if I left gaps by not putting any silver reflective in the windows and things like that, then obviously it wouldn't be a metal structure. Um, because even though I've got... It's not as good as the scooter was, because that was fully metal. Whereas with the, um, the transit, the roof is fiberglass, you see. I mean, I have lined the roof with um, the bubble wrap, you know, the, the aluminium silver bubble wrap. But um, it's not as effective as it was on the Scudo. But um, yes, that's just a little, um, that's just a little thing to have a think about. And uh, I was quite surprised actually when I looked at it. And I thought that explains it. It's definitely better. It's definitely good in the transit because I have insulated everything. And when I put the, like I say, when I put the screens in the windows, um, it does to an extent block out signals as well. Um, so it does work. So if you want to get away from it all, get yourself a van. <laughs> And get out in your Faraday box and um, get yourself sealed away from all the frequencies. Because uh, I get the feeling when 5G comes along, I'm thinking it's going to be much, much worse. Um, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, right, that's it. That's enough chatting for me. Um, have a night, guys. Have a great rest of the day. And uh, I'll see you next box. No, I'll see you next vid. See you next vid. Thank you.